What causes drug addiction? We think the answer is obvious. Drugs have strong chemicals that make our bodies dependent on them. But journalist Johan Hari discovered that there is more to it. The messages in this video are based on his book, Chasing the Scream, The First and Last Days of the War on Drugs. In the 70s, a research experiment found that when a rat is put in an empty cage, all alone with two water bottles, one normal and one drugged, it gets addicted to the drugged water and eventually dies of malnutrition. The experiment was seen as proof that drugs are uncontrollable and it laid the foundation for 40 years of drug policy with strict laws, rehab centers that focused on withdrawal and a massive war on drugs, making it clear that drugs are bad. What most people don't know is that in the same decade, another scientist, Professor Bruce Alexander, thought it was obvious that lonely rats in boring cages would choose drugs over water. So he put them in a rat park, a lush cage with friends and everything a rat could want, while still having free access to drugs. Surprisingly, his rats chose not to use the drugs. The researcher even took the study one step further and had the rats use drugs for 57 days in the lonely cage until they became heavily addicted and then placed them in the rat park. Astonishingly, the rats gradually reduced their drug use until they stopped using them altogether and lived the rest of their lives drug-free. Experiments like these happen to humans all the time. One example is in hospitals, where heavily injured patients are given a medical form of heroin. This heroin is much stronger than the heroin used by street addicts. Despite months of use, these medical users just stop when they go home to a life where they are surrounded by a loving family. The same drug, used for the same length of time, turns street users who were alone and unhappy into desperate addicts. The Rat Park experiments didn't show that chemical addictions don't exist, but it showed that they are not the only thing that matters in drug abuse. Maybe a person's access to a functioning social life and a lush cage are even more important than continuing the war on drugs mission of making drugs unavailable and penalizing the users. Thank you for watching this minute video series on public health. For easy understanding, we have included some simplifications, so please make sure to check out chasingthescream.com for the full story and stuartmcmillan.com for an awesome comic strip about the experiments. Please leave your thoughts about the Rat Park and suggestions for future topics in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe.